Heute haben wir einen hohen Besuch bei uns im Blick TV Studio. Und ich freue mich mega, dass Sie heute da sind. Sie sind Gewinner vom diesjährigen Eurovision Song Contest. Moneskin bei uns, Benvenuti. Hi. 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 Bene. I don't speak so well Italian, so we're going to do this in English. And there's also been some confusion in the newsroom and in our team regarding the pronunciation of the name. Did I do well? Yeah. Moneskin? Yeah. 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 Nice. Moneskin. Moneskin. And it's moonlight in Danish. Yeah. Exactly. exactly. But it has nothing to do with the moon. It, it was, was very was random. Yeah, it was random. But... Okay, you like the sound of it. Yeah. 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 Perfect. So this year, Italy is really on a roll. Yeah. You won Eurovision Song Contest. Then we have the soccer. What are the Italians doing better than everybody else this year? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> we're just happy about it. I think that both are very good things and we're really happy about it. And you had uh, like a success inside Italy for quite some time. You were really young yeah, yeah, when yeah, you yeah, yeah, participated start. in X Factor. Yeah, yeah we were yeah, like yeah, 16 years old. I was old. the older yeah. and I yeah. was 18. So. I was wow. 14. Okay, 14. Yeah. And now you've got the international success. How did that change? Well, Changed a lot. Yeah. <laughs> now um, we're it traveling was. all around Europe and we're actually mm -hmm. seeing that people are stopping us in the street, like in every country that we go to and waiting for us outside the hotel. And that's pretty amazing for us. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's insane. And I imagine also after your Eurovision Song Contest that you got a lot of response, maybe also from, from famous people, from people inside oh, yeah. the industry yeah. that maybe yeah. you didn't yeah. expect. Victoria, who was maybe the most surprising person that who reached out to you? Um, I don't know, maybe Miles Cyrus yeah. was pretty yeah. amazing, but like a lot of bands also yeah, Franz we loved. Ferdinand, Royal yeah. Blood. There were so many texting us, that's like incredible. And what did they say, Damiano? Like congratulations, oh, yeah. like your music you, and stuff like rock that. It. And maybe yeah. also some collaborations coming up? <laughs> Secret. Yeah, who knows? Secret, but it's not a no. <laughs> so in Switzerland, you say a maybe it's is a yes. It's <laughs> like a maybe. It's like a no spoiler. Mm -hmm. It's smart enough. And that's what it. you did after you won. You basically went to the studio and you recorded, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to get like some sanity. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, we, we wanted to. Um, I don't know, to take the inspiration we got from the Eurovision and from all the stuff that we're doing now and like transform it in music like immediately because we had like a short amount of time and we wanted to use that for the, the writing session. Afterwards, when you're overwhelmed by all these emotions because you just won and it's basically kicking in, you're realizing it, and then you go and you create music, how does it affect your creativity? Well, we are trying actually to stay the same and stay very natural in the writing process because it's always like worked that way for us. We just try to have fun and each one of us put their own ideas and we mix it all up yeah. together. So we're just like trying to not think about how many people are going to listen to what we're doing and just have fun and do something we like. Is it a complete it. mix or does like one of you sometimes take the lead, prefers to do more writing? No, oh, it's yeah. also not a complete yeah. mix, yeah. but then sometimes if someone, someone has, has a clear, clear idea, idea. Yeah, we exactly. follow the person who has it. But it's very much mixed up. Yeah. Amazing. Damiana, who would you like to collaborate with from all the maybe big people who reached out? Hmm. Or anybody in general? <laughs> um, like, uh, let's say Harry Styles. He's doing great right yeah, now. So. He's very great. Yeah, he's very great. I love your music. <laughs> I also love the way that you dress. Thank like, you. Thank you. You make this big visual appearance. How important is that for an artist? Like, would, would things be different if you just went with jeans and a t-shirt and no styling? Do you think it's a part of an artist? Yeah, yeah. we think like it's an important way to yeah. send a message also because we think it's a form of expression and many people nowadays are like very limited by all the stereotypes that the society puts on gender and clothing and all of this stuff. So we just try to send a message that it's fine to be who you are and you just have to have fun and feel comfortable with yourself. So that's just what we do. Of yeah. course, it's like very fun when you get on stage to play with the makeup, the styling and everything, because it's a form of art. And so we just have fun with it. But yeah, yeah but the main thing, of course, is the yeah. music. Yeah. So. We hope that even if we were playing naked, people would listen to us. <laughs> okay, I heard the statement maybe that you think that people you would wish that people would focus on your music a little bit more than maybe on what you're wearing on stage. Uh, Ethan, is that is that something that you, you think people focus too much on? Well, no, uh, I think that we just feel the music like something that we feel represented by. So the clothes, seats, uh, they are a way to, to expression too. So we just have fun with it.
I also imagine it's though a little bit hard sometimes to maybe go shopping because sometimes what you wear is crazy. Like what inspires you? Where do you find those outfits? Well, it's know. hard to find them. Yeah, yeah. it's not Often easy. Often thrift shops. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, shops, most yeah. of the thing that we do the most is we just find something that, that we like and we, we, we just use it. We don't want to like copy someone or um, get too much into like references. Of course, we have references, but yeah, you get compared to David Bowie. Yeah. <laughs> you get com maybe yeah, but Queen, yeah. Beatles. <laughs> like, well. is there a comparison you love the most? Well, oh, of let, course, let's it's say a pleasure, Bowie. But, yeah. <laughs> let's say Bowie was my favorite one. Bowie. <laughs> But we, of course, we think it's like... Yeah, it's a bit too much. Yeah, it doesn't make sense to make <laughs> well, those comparisons, of course, because each one has their their own, like, style. And yeah, who they are, of course, we are totally different artists. Yeah, and also we have, like, a we sh just short start, career. Yeah. So we just, like, started. and We have to work hard. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's nothing to compare, I would You say. formed, and then, like, one year later, you or were yeah. already in the spotlight. Yeah, more or less. Thomas, did, yeah. you, did you expect that? Was it a shock? No, uh, absolutely not. <laughs> it was, it a, was shock. a shock. Yeah, it yeah. was a shock at all. But we, from the very first moment that we met, we decided to do it, like, very seriously. So uh, we did it. And you all look like you have also unique styles and like own personalities, but always that you look well together as a picture. Do you have a stylist helping you put the outfits together, yeah, or you? Yeah, do yeah, we always course. try to think about we, if we match a bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you fight sometimes, or like I want to wear the pink. No, I want to go with the purple. Uh, yeah, yeah, so <laughs> Not so often, but sometimes yeah, yeah, we sometimes do. Yeah, sometimes we do. Who wins? <laughs> well, Thomas Most is the one Thomas. that gets the yeah. best yeah, outfits. That's true. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I saw some uh, very nice uh, teasing pictures for your video that's dropping today. Yeah, yeah. no, tomorrow. No, tomorrow. Yeah. tomorrow. Yes. Yes. I want to be your slave. Yeah. Yes. yes. What's that all about? Can you maybe give us a little Try bit of a guess. spoiler? <laughs> 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 Let's play the games with the photos. <laughs> <laughs> I no. saw some spitting. Yeah. Is that something you're into? Well. <laughs> should, we, it. should we incorporate it? Did you like the, it? Have I never ever? Oh yes, I liked it. <laughs> I liked it, of course. But there's a there's a cut. Oh, come on, let's <laughs> let's have some fun. There's yeah, a yeah. cut. <laughs> was it like? Why was like, there a cut? Like what? Was it really done or was it just? Uh, yeah, yeah, it was really done. Was yeah. it real? Yeah. It was real. Uh, yeah. yeah. He liked it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. of course, I mean, of course, I like that. A lot. Those kind of weird things. Yeah, we just have fun. You have fun you doing them. Do you also kind of like the idea of people seeing that and it may be changing their perspective? It may be um, opening them up a little bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Basically, what, what we wanted to do with this video and with this song that basically talks about like sexual life and all the different shades that, that, that exist in the world, we wanted to like represent some images that people mm, most of the time find weird or strange or annoying in a certain way and we wanted to normalize it because it's normal and everyone has different tastes and likes uh, different things and we wanted to give a representation to normalize it. Mm. So you're sending out the message that if somebody thinks spitting is hot yeah. during sex that it's hot, that it's not gross. Yeah. No, yeah. That's not gross. Each one can do whatever it That's not like. gross If you don't like it, you don't have to be into it, but if yeah. you like it, yeah. it's yeah. cool. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to see the video. Yeah. <laughs> it's very good. Yeah. Yeah, really so good. it's going to launch tomorrow. Amazing. Um, well, I think this is already it for our little interview. Mm -hmm. We're on a limited time because you're on a busy schedule. Yeah. But I would like to thank you so much for being here. And I wish you all the success in the future. Yeah. Maybe we will see us again. And have a great time in Switzerland. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you.